like are you already recording oh. <laughs> How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel WRX Garage. Today we're just gonna be doing a nice simple install here with Kyle. I always got it behind my head. Birthday <laughs> present. Kyle's birthday present from last week. Thank you, Vanessa. Yeah, shout out to Vanessa. For his the, girlfriend, we might have to bleep out her name. For, for the, security uh, reasons. <laughs> for the Rally Armor Mud Flaps, which should be your first mod. They should just come with this car because this is why this car exists, is for this. So we're gonna throw these on. All right. I love that. Setting the standard in mud flaps. That's great. So you get instructions, obviously. Tells you what you gotta do. These are super simple to put on. Obviously the mud flaps and you get your hardware and the bracket. and you get the brackets. Okay, we're gonna start with the fronts and we're gonna show you guys how to put those on. All right guys, so we are now at the front passenger side wheel. Hello. Um, we just did the other side, everything goes smoothly. I mean, for the front, nice and simple, you just make sure you turn the wheel to either side to give you more room to work with. Um, took us about five minutes. Yeah, um, not even. <laughs> one thing I wanted to point out, how you're in the, in the sun. I know. The blue for the match, paint match, it's pretty darn good. Um, it's pretty darn close. I don't know if you guys can see this. Um, Rally Ar Armor blue in here, it might be a tiny bit lighter, but good job on Rally Armor, offer that color. It's gonna look absolutely gorgeous on this car. So we're currently just popping out the little stock pop clips in there. This side isn't nearly as dirty. Alright, S clips go top. These go on super easy. Just line them up with the holes. Let's give you guys a better look in here. I don't know if that'll be too dark or whatnot, but. This you just have to bend a little bit. They tell you in the instructions. Tiny little bit of pressure and it bends right, right where how you want it. So now, put this like this. Put 
Tiny bit in, but other than that, it's good. Tiny, tiny bit. Good. Right there? Yep. back with you and we do the backs. All right guys, we're at the uh, back of the car now. Looks like some of these pop clips are already out. So uh, there's one right down here we got to pull out and then uh, We'll see if we can do this side. Um, I know that some people say you can't do this without removing the, the wheels, but uh, when I did it on my car, my wheels are a bit wider. Um, they're a bit taller, wider, yeah. So they come out block further, so I wasn't able to. Uh, we'll see if we can do it on Kyle's. Gonna be popping off these stock pop clips on the bottom there. Pretty simple. We just did the other side. It was a bit awkward to do without the wheels, but or with the wheels on, I mean, but um, it's manageable. Just a little awkward. It's going easy with this pop clip. You don't want to break it. Yeah. Cough, cough. Got a lot of they got a lot of dirt in these ones, so just be careful. Cause they don't really want to open because they're they got a bunch of dirt in there. Oh man, they don't see stuff. U clip. Don't forget your clips, guys. This one's going right in the middle. Pretty simple. wondering yes this can be done with just one person um, it is easier having an extra pair of hands but I was able to do mine on my car by myself no problem um, just takes a little longer um, we are using just a 7 16th uh, you could get away with a 12 meter millimeter as well um, you will have to use a very stubby kind if you're not taking the wheels off um, top clip tool simple and then say Phillips head. Okay. 
I'm gonna check if I'm straight. Probably the best part with you guys is instead of getting up and down and up and down, you can just tell you where it's gotta go. Same thing as far in as possible. Far in as possible? Okay. This one If you guys are considering getting mud flaps, definitely go for it. It's gonna protect your paint. It's gonna do a great job. Um, it's gonna keep rocks from getting flung up on the cars behind you, or the Evos behind you, I should say. <laughs> um, we also got these mud flaps right here. That keeps me from flinging rocks on all the Evos behind me because whether you're f***ing their wives or throwing rocks at their car, they always get pissed off at you for no reason. Um, one thing to keep in mind, you have to worry about the material and the quality of the material. And when you're buying rally armor, I mean, it's pretty much the best you can get. Um, there are some other options out there that are more economical. Um, I think the rock blocks are another popular. The rock blocks, yeah. The difference between them is that these are urethane, polyurethane versus rock blocks, which I think are a bit more stiff. Um, in my mind, you know, if you hit a bumper or an, a uh, curb or uh, a speed bump or something like that with a stiff piece of plastic, you know, thing's gonna crack, it's gonna bend, it's gonna warp, so. Also, I noticed if you get the hard ones, when you keep driving, obviously the wind is pushing them this way. And if you notice the hard ones, because they're do it, you'll notice, you'll see guys, their mud flaps look like this when their car's off. And to me, that's just stupid. You know, you, gotta, yeah. you want it to have some, or even if I'm going, you know, cross country like this, as soon as I stop, these are gonna come back to their natural position. Rally armor mud flaps in their natural habitat. Yep. All right, I think that's it, guys. Let's see how they look. Let's off the gimbal for a second. Okay. Oh, I'm getting so much glare from the sun behind us, but... Because my paint is too shiny. Rally armor. They really just fell out the wheel well, really well. Wheel well, 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 so. I think they look great. Oh yeah. Let's get this back. Let's see how you look. Well, again, sun, but. Yeah, they look great. Especially with those big, fat, orange tips. Yee -yee. We'll have to get some better pictures later on in the sun, but yeah, easy install. Anyone could do it. Took us, we started at 4, it's 427. So with filming it and doing all four, took us 27 minutes. So anyone could do it, super easy. Uh, if you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe and throw a like on it if you could. That really, really helps. Uh, be sure to tune in. Turn the bell on for notifications. We're trying to post uh, every Saturday, actually right around 4 o'clock. Um, so we're going to try to keep that going as long as we can. We got a lot of stuff. Kevin may or may not have purchased something awesome. I don't know. Yeah. So we might hint at that in we, the next few videos. We might but, uh, see what he got. We're, we're not big, sure. Guys. It's something pretty big. So and, uh, exciting. So be sure to you know tune in and uh, keep looking for that video that is going to be coming soon. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. We got a lot of stuff planned. Uh, winter's coming up, so we got a lot of stuff we want to do to get ready for that. So we got to get ready for the snow. Best part of Subaru weather. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, Dad. We'll uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. See you in the next one. Peace.